thank you for coming to the 15th annual Claymont Christmas Parade. Yeah. It is tremendous. tremendous. I remember it wasn't, well, it was almost that long ago when Ray Hester called and said, hey, would you publicize this on WDEL? It was four days before the event. I said, sure. So we had the Mount Pleasant High School Band, two cops and a Cub Scout. And Ryan. Now, 80 units, like 250 people and you. God bless. So we're going to uh, have the blessing of the weed. Some folks will put some ornaments on the weed and also have a few things to say. Before I introduce the president of the Claymont Community Coalition, there is a rule for all speakers. 60 seconds. And if, if it goes, I have my stopwatch here. And if it goes over 60 seconds, we'll all start chanting, why do you hate Claymont? <laughs> it's the 60 second rule. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Baba Kogalab, who is the president of the Claymont Community Coalition. Hey, Baba! Good morning, thanks for coming. Thanks for making this parade a success. Uh, all, everybody who was in here, who was in the parade, and also helped behind the scene, I want to thank the Wilden and the other team members who spend a lot of time all year to get this parade together. And I'm not going to bore you any longer. I'm going to have Ed, Reverend Ed Garden. We rest the Christmas week. Thank you, Bobby. My uh, colleague, Father Ruben Rodriguez Yeo, is going to pray the prayer in Spanish, I in English. Let us pray. God of heaven and earth, Padre del cielo y de la tierra, by sending your only begotten Son, enviaste a tu único Hijo Jesucristo, our Savior Jesus Christ, nuestro Salvador el Cristo, to be born of a young virgin. Que para que naciera de una virgen. And to be a helpless infant in a manger. Y ser, y nacer en el pesebre. You made what most in that time. Hiciste lo que pudiste en ese tiempo. Considered to be nearly nothing. Considerado casi nada. Into the most precious gift. Y, y nos, di nos diste el regalo más grande. To humanity for all time. A la humanidad para toda la vida. We give thanks once more for this weed. Le damos gracias por este weed. This tree, which for so many is the sign of Christ's coming. Este árbol que para muchos es la venida de Jesús el Cristo. Christ coming into the world. El Cristo que viene a este mundo. May it be to us also y que sea para nosotros of his promise to come again. Una promesa para regresar al mundo. We ask your most gracious blessing upon it. Te pedimos que la bendiga on those who made it y aquellos que lo han hecho and on those who will add to its beauty y aquellos que le han dado su belleza and finally on those who will see it. Y finalmente para aquellos que lo ven we ask you to reach into our lives Te pedimos que, that we may become a part of the work que seamos parte de este mundo, which is your son's reconciliation of all people que es la reconciliación de tu hijo a todas las personas, and the best ideas of Christmas. Y la mejor, el mejor ideal durante la Navidad. All this we ask in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Todo esto lo pedimos en el nombre de Jesús el Cristo. Amen. Amen. I know a lot of people think a Christmas weed, it's so silly. But think about this. A little seed, root of a weed, on the highway, no one could stop it. People decorated it, no one can stop it. Everybody laughed about it. And like the revitalization efforts here in Claymont, like those of you who live here, no one can stop you. It actually is a great representation of Claymont. So I'm glad to be here and I'm honored. Thank you so much. All right, uh, you can either, I'm going to call out a name, and uh, you can either hang an ornament on the weed or speak or both. 60 seconds for, uh, for each person, each speaker. Our Grand Marshal.
State Senator Kathy Collier. Thank you, Ray. One thing I want to say, many people today thought I lost the election. They were, said they were sorry, but the newspaper did give the wrong numbers, and I did, in fact, win. So I do appreciate it. everybody that's taking sympathy cards and things. But this, today is one of the reasons why I love Claymo. Is that on the radio you want to know why? That's Claymo. it. There you go. And then I'll go fast. I want to thank uh, D, D. Weldon, the parade committee. Yeah. All the volunteers. Where are you? Everybody volunteered. You all did, right? Any part that you made is great. Thank you for keeping the parade flourishing. I also want to thank the fire service, the state police, the county police for keeping everybody safe. I want to thank the Section Church, of course, for letting us hear and the refreshments. And I'm really happy to say I thank Delaware Digital Video because every year they come. The Hank Black, the Sun Ray, and five seconds. <laughs> Here, my kids. My son Tommy. Tommy. Time's up. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Merry Thank you, Kathy. Uh, let's see. A weed host from Delaware, Shirley Abramovich. Shirley. Okay, we also have a lot of time to get to the microphones. Time's up. So, yay Shirley! Everybody applaud yay Shirley. Thank you. Okay, Romeo Claymont alumni, Ray Mears. Now I saw Senator Chris Coons here. Is Chris? Did you did you make it to the church, Chris? He was here last year. He was waiting for his ride in the road. But where'd the car go? This time he was here. Chris, are you here? Well, God bless you. I know that Chris Coons was here and supports Claymont. And is time up? All right. Hey, it's everybody's party. You can all speak up, okay? All righty. Uh, State Representative John Carney. Who, who saw John Carney here at the parade? I did. Okay, they're off to many events, I suppose. Is time up? Good, this is going quickly now, isn't it? Get the politicians off real quick, the thing just moves right along. Um, our new, yet again, I guess new and improved, County Executive Tom Gordon. <laughs> if I were the county executive, I'd be saying this. No, we're not going to do that. Uh, how about uh, Newcastle County President, newly elected Chris? Oh my gosh, what have I gotten myself into? Bullock. Yeah, we'll get those guys too. First, we get to the no shows. How about recorder of deeds, Mike Kosikowski? Mike, are you here? Yay! Fantastic. What a speech, huh? Wasn't he great? State Auditor Tom, man, do you need a shave? Wagner. He's on his way to Dover. He's on his way to what? He's on his way to get, sh get a shave, I hope. I don't just. Uh, so, about State Treasurer Chip, why don't the Democrats listen to me, Flowers? He's going to Dover as well. Yay, they're all going to Dover! More cookies and hot cocoa for you. Uh, let's see, how about State Representative... Okay, how about... Huh? How about Dennis? All right, go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> Dennis Williams. I'm Dennis Williams, State yeah, Representative go. for the 10th District, which was where we all are. Because I, I get there seven minutes. From the, no, <laughs> Well, I, then I will be very brief. Merry Christmas to everyone. Happy holidays. And, and as Rick mentioned, as everyone talked about, this is a great symbol of Claymont. I'm thrilled to be here. It's a great turnout. Thank you very much. Very nice. Very You've got All right. You'll never be Joe Biden. Dude, you got that done in 20 seconds. <laughs> he got that in 20 seconds. He's a politician. Give him a round of applause. Amazing. County Councilman John Cartier. Merry Christmas to everybody. I want to thank everybody who uh, re-elected me.
me in 2012. I want to thank our state police, county police, first responders at Claymont Fire Company, the Claymont Community Coalition for sponsoring once again a great Claymont Christmas parade. Good Christmas weave. May you live forever. Claymont, Merry Christmas. Thank you very much. And don't forget, we can raise money for the community library, which is being built. You can buy a brick for $100 and take care of the fundraising for the Claymont Library. We're going to go over and decorate the tree. Let's go, Grace. Yeah. Tom Kovac, who's always been there for Claymont, whether he was in the House or not re-elected. Tom Kovac. Merry Christmas, Claymont. As Rick said, I really enjoyed serving Claymont. Just because I'm not elected, that's not ending. We have a new nonprofit, Team Kovac for Delaware. Look us up. If you need help, small business, nonprofits, give us a call. Claymont, love to keep serving you. Thank you for all that you have done for your community, and thank you for your support. Merry Christmas, Claymont! All right, what's with all the new post election beards, guys? I guess it's okay as long as the ladies don't follow suit. Yes. Welcome, Mike Elder, Claymont Fire Police. Mike, Mike come on. Mike. Thousand one. He's coming. Like I say, I started this with uh, Mr. Hester years ago. He came to me and uh, he said, hey, I'd like to start the Christmas parade back up again. I said, I have no problem with that. I've done all kinds of parades on this pipe. And uh, like I said, we got it done again. Everybody got safe. Everybody's going home safe. Uh, like I said, have a Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Please, we claim my fire for me. Check your smoke detectors. Okay? We don't need any more fake towers in this state. Okay? Thank you very much. Nice see you. All right. From Cub Scout Pack 328, Trevor Taylor. Want to plug the food drive? Trevor? Yo, hey, if you're here. All right, they have a food drive. Please participate. Now. Faithful friends, Animal Society, Brittany Anthony. Is Brittany here? See all the doggies in the parade? This is, I think, the second year Faithful Friends has participated. Tremendous. Uh, friends of the Claymont Library. I'm sure Ann wants to do a commercial for the Claymont Library. Everybody does. Buy a brick, 100 bucks. Ann? I'll be up there for Ann. Okay, and now, a well, you're a poor substitute for Ann, I'll say that. <laughs> Jeff Groff from the Library, Friends of the Library. Again, thank you all for coming, and as John said, please support the library. If we do need you, the, uh, there's brochures, there's a website, and everybody's going to enjoy the new library. Thank you all very much. All right, nice to meet From the Claymont Historical Society, Carolyn Mercadante. Carolyn? Thank you all for coming, and when you think of the Claymont, we think of the future. Please remember the past, the Robinson House, the Darley House, the Archmere Academy, uh, Stone School, and of course the Grove Mansion, and all the great history that we have here within a, a radius of about two miles. We now have an office in the Darley Art Center, so please come and join us and feel free to lend your talents to our organization. Merry Christmas to everyone. Nice to you. First Francis, Francis West of the Delaware Heritage Society. Francis? Yay. Okay, now if you're not going to show up, I'll make a message for you. Okay? Remember your heritage. Moving on. Uh, Elaine Smith, Claymont Chapter AARP number 175. Elaine? Oh, there she is, right there. A lot of folks don't know that we have a local chapter. Uh, we meet the second Thursday of the month at 1 o'clock at the Dominant Methodist Circle. And anybody who belongs to ARP National is welcome. We'd love to see some of you. Thanks a lot. Alrighty. Now, here's the guy. I want everyone to check your stopwatches, okay? We're going to bring Bob Weiner up from Newcastle County. 
And if I if I give you the high sign, just say off the stage, Bob, because we call him the dandy dancer as well. He's a dancer. He's a singer, and uh, he does a nice job representing you, Bob Weiner. I had the pleasure and honor of representing Claymont as your county councilman from '96 to 2002. And I just want to do a shout out to all of the civic leaders that worked with us during those years, starting uh, with George Lose and Don Lamb and I that got a, a kickoff grant of $25,000 from then County Executive Tom Gordon. We then met every month, rain or shine, sleet or snow. And then I had the pleasure of handing it off to John Cartier, a fellow councilman in 2002, who's done a great job of representing our community since then. But my heart still remains in Claymont, and I continue to be a partner with John and with all of you. Thank you. And uh, let's see, uh, Nora from Church of Session, you want to put on a, um, a, an ornament? No, Nora from huh? Nora Lassay. Oh, Nora Lassay. Yes, thank you. I'm sorry, Nora Lassay. She wants to do an ornament. Uh, yes. Okay. Thank you, everyone, for coming. And we're going to put an ornament on the tree in memory of George Lassay. <laughs> yes. <coughs> Diane Decker from St. Mark's Lutheran Church. They'd love to have you. Please go visit some Sunday. All right. Uh, Elizabeth Howe from the Civil Air Patrol. Would you like to uh, place an ornament or have a word? Moving on? Okay. Uh, let's see. Maureen Bullock of the Miss Coast Scholarship Organization. I'm Come on, ladies. <laughs> I heard that. Good morning. I'm going to yield to my lovely beauty queen. Good morning, everyone. My name is Honoria Bullock. I am Miss TV Beautiful 2012. I hope you all enjoyed the parade. If you are interested in being a beauty queen like me or one of my sisters who earned scholarship money for college, please see us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Jones, I am your Miss Cape and Logan's Outstanding Team. And during this time, let's think about the less fortunate and donate as many canned goods or non perishable items to the Food Bank of Delaware. Thank you. Nice. Good morning, everyone. My name is Tierra Fair, and I'm your Miss East Coast 2013. First, I would like to thank you all for allowing us to um, participate in this tradition with you. And also, I would like to invite you all to the Miss Delaware pageant. June 29th and over. I was watching the way you were watching them. You, you seem to be too young to be a mother hen. You know? Well, that's, that's awesome. It's good stuff. Uh, Cub Scout Pack 61. Eileen McCormick. She loves the Scouts. Uh, Girl Scout Service Unit 25 is Deb McGill still here. Still here. Deb well, come on up. Here, we'll uh, bring the microphone down. No, she's just going to put an ornament. Oh, you're going to do an ornament? Yeah. All right. And the BSA Peacemakers of the uh, Peter and Paul Ukrainian Orthodox Church, Matt Bibb. And Dave Bart of the Claymont Business Owners Association. Everyday Claymont, everyday local. Join the association, shop, live, love Claymont. That's all I gotta say, okay. Give, give them a big round of applause for standing in for Dave way there in the background there. Right Choice Child Care, Rose Currington. I wanna have a word and uh, place an ornament. Rose's Child Care. That the ornament is fine, all right. Oh, that's so cute. Get the camera on it, look at, look at, look at, look at that, look at that. And uh, from WJBR and the J-Bear, Molly Fisher. Molly, Molly here? Why, no? Oh, you guys have to do an ornament? Molly. All righty. Uh, Carol Forsyth from the Wilmington School of Rock. Um, School of Rock is, uh, how many of you went to Safety Day? Which is a big claim on thing. And they played there and it was awesome. All right, next year, you need to go. Whatever we call it, you need to go. The school record was just fantastic. 
Maddox uh, Chimney Sweeping. Want to place your ornament? All righty. And uh, Valerie Byron of Dance Delaware. And uh, Timothy Sheridan of the Wilmington Drama League. Well, they say, if you've got drama, bring it to us. Now, uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, Officer uh, Kristen Hester of the Newcastle County Police. Everyone needs to get to know Officer Hester of the Newcastle County Police. Merry Christmas. There we go. Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. Isn't that the best speech ever? Yeah. Right to the point. Gets the job done. Best ever. Uh, from Eagle One, a federal credit union. Gosh, how can we do it without you folks? Where is Terry Keller? Oh, right over there. Thank you so much. As always, the credit union is happy to be part of this annual Christmas parade. We look forward to serving you in our new building in 2013, and happy holidays from Eagle One. Nice. Is there anybody we forgot? Raise your hand if you're saying, hey, well, how about us? Yes? Well, come on. Well, I know, we're saving that for last. We're, we're, sa we're saving you guys for last. Anybody else? Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah, a great book to everybody. Yeah. For all your video reproduction needs. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, we've been here for the last nine years, and I have to say this is the best weather I think we've ever had. So yeah. thank you for whoever did that. Uh, I wanted to remind everyone, go to ClaymontChristmasParade.com. You can see all the videos and pictures since uh, 2004. And uh, it, it, this is a great tradition. We used to have a lot of parades in Brady 100. There used to be one on Concord Pike and Falk Road, and I think this is the last one. So let's keep it going. And from the Black and Buck, the families, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. And remember to ask, where will they park? <laughs> we'll get you on the Rick Jensen show on WDL and talk about that next week if you want. Where will they park? And what's the website again? Where will they park? No, 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 no. ClaymontChristmasParade.com. These guys have done thousands of dollars of work for like 15 cents over the years. So big round of applause. You guys are fantastic. Really fantastic. Thank you so much. And now, along with the man who has become notorious for composing and performing the ballad of the Claymont Christmas Weed, which has been featured on the Rick Jensen Show on WDEL, not available in stores because the stores don't want it. Please welcome the Claymont Community Chorus. holidays uh, with the Claymont Community Chorus. We rehearsed down on Green Street at the Community Center. We're not there most of the time. If you would like to come sing with us, my name is Jan Bull, and you would have to give, you know, say something at the front desk, and if they don't know what you're talking about, try the business office, and hopefully they'll give you my phone number. Uh, we're going to sing this piece, um, Ocatello, uh, our company is Brazil, and um, Drew has written the Christmas weed, and pay attention to the words because uh, they're wonderful, and here we go. Not everybody's here, but we're, we love the parade. We have one. On a concrete island on an overpass, the track appeared then a blade of grass. The wind blew up and bore a seed, and in that track there grew a weed. A weed, a weed, a boy, boy, weed. It grew to maturity from a seed. It's a miracle, they say, or yes, indeed. And it happened right here in Claymont. Now the wheat grew up while all around. Conditions were so harsh on that fallow ground. Through a concrete barrier, the stock it came. But our body, we wheat, it flourished just the same. The same, the same, it flourished just the same. But slowly, but slowly, through its fame. It's a miracle, they say, and we'll make the claim that it happened right there in Claymont. 
Throughout December our wheat survived, it not only grew but began to thrive. The townsfolk all were so impressed that they shouted out loud, This town is blessed! Bless, bless, this town is blessed! The joyful sons each one confessed, It's a miracle they say, and one could have guessed that it happened right here in Claymont. Some folk decided right there and then to decorate the wheat and start a trend by hanging lights and decorations too. The Christmas wheat reputation grew. It grew, it grew, it grew. It grew. This reputation grew to the Christmas wheat fame day crew. It's a miracle they say, and out of the blue, it happened right there in Claymont. Merry Christmas. God bless. We'll see you next year. Shop Claymont.